How much money has Russia lost on military equipment? Russia already lost more than $10 billion worth of military equipment in Ukraine. Russia has reportedly lost more than 2,000 and above tanks and about 3,000 and above other armored vehicles and heavy equipment so far in its invasion of Ukraine. Experts put the losses down to the advanced anti-tank weapons given to Ukraine by Western countries, poor strategy, low morale, and important design flaws. Ukraine says Russia has lost almost a lot of tanks, a number that we cannot verify. However, the military and intelligence blog Oryx, which counts Russian military equipment losses in Ukraine based on photographs sent from the front lines, says the Russian army has lost more than 70,000 personnel, 2,659 tanks, 273 aircraft, 252 helicopters and 351 cruise missiles. Out of the 2,659 tanks that Russia has lost in Ukraine, 300 or fewer were abandoned or captured. According to military analysts, that says a lot about the operation. Poor intelligence led to Russian commanding officers not being able to plan their offensive operations properly, and the core of military personnel consists mostly of conscripts, around 80%, who are not professionally trained to use the equipment. The invading forces were also expecting Ukrainians to receive them with open arms, which as we know did not happen. And the high number of casualties in the opening days and weeks of the invasion affected the morale of Russian troops, who often fled their positions, leaving the equipment behind. So much Russian military equipment was left abandoned that Ukrainian authorities even declared that anyone who took possession of such equipment did not need to declare it for tax purposes. Amateur videos of Russian tanks and other armored vehicles being towed across fields and villages by Ukrainian tractors regularly go viral on social media. Military vehicles are usually abandoned, broken down, or out of fuel. They are often handed over to Ukrainian armed forces battling Russia's invasion. Equipment that was lost in combat, the war in Ukraine has exposed fundamental design flaws and outdated or inferior quality materials in Russian equipment. Tank turrets that were blown off and now lie in ruins several meters from the rubble of the exploded tank point to a design issue known as the jack-in-the-box flaw. Many Russian tanks, including the T-72, which has been widely used in Russia's invasion of Ukraine, have an automated hold and load ammunition system. Shells are placed in a ring within the turret, and more ammunition is stored underneath the tank operators. So when an enemy shot hits a vulnerable spot, such as the top part of the tank, where the armor is thinner, the ring of ammunition can explode and start a chain reaction that vaporizes the crew and blasts the turret off the tank's hull. The Russian army operates through self-contained combat units known as battalion tactical groups, composed of tanks, infantry, and artillery. These units are designed to attack quickly with a lot of firepower, so they are made up of many armored vehicles, but few infantry troops offer protection to escort and retaliate if the armored column comes under attack. Russian units can cause a lot of damage, but effective Ukrainian tactics paired with anti-tank weapons provided by the West have dealt Russia a massive blow. Many Russian tanks are fitted with reactive armor designed to absorb the impact of missiles. However, US-made javelins, for example, are fitted with two warheads. The first one blows the reactive armor away, while the second penetrates the hull underneath. Other weapons have proven highly effective against Russian equipment. The Turkish-made Bayraktar TB2 drone has unique capabilities to detect and identify targets from a distance of up to 50 kilometers. So far, more than 30 countries have provided financial and military aid to Ukraine. Supplies have been limited to arms, ammunition, and defensive equipment like anti-tank and anti-aircraft systems as NATO members fear that providing heavier offensive equipment such as fighter jets could lead to a direct conflict with Russia. Before invading Ukraine, the Russian army built a reputation for being strong, effective, and technologically advanced, namely through its involvement in the Syrian war. But in this new theater of war, the Ukrainian army, despite being outnumbered more than 5 to 1, has put a serious dent in that reputation. Well, that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. What do you think about the situation? Tell us in the comment section below. Do like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon for future updates.